Good evening. Welcome to the evening show. We got a great show for you tonight. I'm Chris Hay and I will be your host tonight. Whoa, we've got a lot of great news stories that broke this week, so let's just get into it. Our biggest news story of the week. The UN declared earlier on in the week that due to the continuous spread of the novel coronavirus, or COVID-19, or the Wuhan China virus, depending on who you ask, the year 2020 will be cancelled. That's right. Due to the continuous spread of a pandemic that we have not seen since the 1918 Spanish flu, the UN has decided to cancel the year 2020 like it did the Olympics. Once the virus has been sufficiently brought under control, we will resume 2020 and the Olympics. When asked about this controversial bill to postpone an entire year, the reactions around the world were mixed. Uh, in China, President Xi Jinping announced that, hey, it's about time the West caught up to us, so maybe in 2021 we can all celebrate New Year's on the same day. In the U.S., Upon hearing the news of the controversial decision to postpone the year, U.S. President Donald Trump was quoted as saying, that's total fake news, get out of my office, wait, are you writing that down? Guards, guards, get them out. In Canada, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, upon hearing the news that the year 2020 has been cancelled, proceeded to ho and hum for about 20 minutes. He is quoted as saying, uh, 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 um, uh, 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 the excruciating talk with the Prime Minister went on for about 20 minutes as he tried to find the politically correct way to tell me to get the fuck out of his office. After the 20 minutes were up, he made Christopher Friedland do it. In other news, Vermont Sander and President hopeful Bernie Sanders declared that he will be suspending his presidential campaign. Many people were surprised at the news, but due to the fact that the year 2020 has been cancelled until further notice, his withdrawal was rejected and he is still in the race. In other news, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau addressed the nation today, trying to deliver any sort of information that he knows that could help stop the spread and flatten the curve of the coronavirus. Let's go to him now. Uh, my understanding of what Dr. Tam explained yesterday uh, is that if people want to wear a mask, uh, that is okay. It protects others more than it protects you because it prevents you from breathing or, or, or speaking uh, moistly on them. Oh, what a terrible image. Uh, but uh, it actually uh, is something that people can do uh, in certain situations. Ooh, that is an image. Uh, 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 uh. And really, is the space between breathing and talking really a good place to pause? Yes, these masks are great. They'll keep you from breathing or talking. Moistly! Mo oh, oh, sh oh, moistly! Ooh. The suffocation masks would evidently curb the spread of coronavirus. In other news, I think The Simpsons actually predicted this very news conference by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Let's go to the footage. Hey, hey! Tonight I'm going to suck your blood! Yes, The Simpsons, the modern-day Nostradamus. They have been credited with predicting damn near everything, including lately, the coronavirus. Let's go to the footage right now. Gotta get a juicer, gotta drink juice, lose weight, won't get chest pain from answering the phone anymore. Please don't tell the supervisor I have the flu. I've been working with a shattered pelvis for three weeks. <laughs> <coughs> oh, 
Oh, my juice loosener's never gonna come. Hey, Dad, this came for you in the mail. <laughs> Mother, get an extra special hug ready. I bought you a new juicer. Good Lord, flu germs entering every orifice in my head. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> what the? While the Simpsons did predict some sort of corona-esque virus, they did get the country wrong. Fortunately, the Simpsons may have already had some great advice like this. It protects others more than it protects you because it prevents you from breathing or, or, or speaking uh, moistly on them. Oh, what a terrible image. And that's our show. Thank you for watching. If you liked any of the material, feel free to hit the like and subscribe or leave a comment. And we'll see you next week. Goodbye!